What's up everybody, Avian here. So is Threshold Blitzcrank your problem right now? Well, look no further. Another champion up my sleeve to contend ranked with is Morgana. Any questions that you have, you must ensure that your Google Plus account settings allow a response, else I won't reply. Now, Morgana support brings huge amounts of utility to Summoner's Rift. Morgana can be effective both defensively and offensively. I find her quite refreshing to play in the current meta, as her kit brings both CC negation and hard CC to our tables. Black Shield is an incredible spell, and it's also an instant cast, so having good reaction time can negate popular supports like Thresh and Blitzcrank, as well as incoming ultimates such as Ash Arrow, and it's also useful offensively, because if you allies can move freely towards the enemy without being crowd controlled, you're gonna see kills rolling in. Now Morgana doesn't have a brilliant kill potential alone, so go with a high burst or a mobile AD carry, or allies with engagement spells, and make sure that you're landing your dark bindings. It's a pretty decent range skill shot that's going to snare your enemy for up to 3 seconds and you will see the effects quite quickly. Having a profound background knowledge of the other champion abilities will also help you decide on how to judge and anticipate on using your own abilities. Now get yourself in game and practice after you've watched my guide. Runes, masteries and items will be on the screen shortly, but for some of the spells, make sure that you're running the flash, and if you want to take kills, go ignite, but otherwise I prefer exhaust most of the time to help with the AD bruisers and assassins from my carries. These masteries allow me to position and engage throughout my ultimate and sustain in the laning phase in combination with the spell vamp on my passive. They also boost my general support utilities for more gold income, potion use and shield strength. I have been trying Thunderlord's Decree with Morgana and it's very useful if you want the extra kill potential. I like to play Morgana offensively by picking off enemies with skill shots and following up with auto attacks. I feel that these runes help me to do that effectively with the extra health, armor and ability power. Although, against AP damage enemies, I would swap the glyphs to magic resistance. Be careful with Morgana after casting a spell. Due to the long cooldown on your skill sets, particularly early game, I'd advise you to be very careful if you have a cooldown. You lose your pressure and the enemy will be able to apply it right back at you. If you find yourself missing a snare, I'd recommend being ready to disengage until the cooldown returns. There are many options of building with Morgana. My general item pathway starts with Spell Thieves, as it's incredibly easy to get sustained income by using your tormented soil in the laning phase. I upgrade it, grab a sidestone, some boots, and Seeker's Arm Guard as soon as possible, and if the enemy has high mobility and I'm a little bit ahead in gold, I'll sometimes get Catalyst the Protector for a later upgrade to Righteous Glory as well. I then finish my Hourglass as soon as possible, as this allows me to move on to boots and upgrade the cooldown of some spells. Morgana is very effective at dispersing enemy teams by flashing and ulting into them to engage or control your team fights. Just don't forget to use Zonyas like I always do. Then you want to collect your utility items. Choose the most suitable items for what you're up against. Seek's Harbringer is certainly an option despite it not being shown. Start with the Glacial Shroud for the extra cooldown reduction, and if your team lacks it against magic damage enemies, grab the Locket of the Iron Solari. Otherwise, take the suggested options against mass crowd control or mobility. I seldom get to take the offensive ability power items because of their gold cost and due to the utility the other items offer. Although remember to check Morello Omnicom if you need grievous runes to reduce enemy healing. Now that's all that I have to say on Morgana. Now before you go, I'd like to take the chance to say Merry Christmas to you all and I hope you have a great new year. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, bye.